In the heart of Hangzhou, one of China's most advanced tech hubs, a massive screen lit up with four simple words that sent shockwaves through the global tech world. Roadmap to Artificial Superintelligence. Those words, delivered by Alibaba CEO Eddie Wu, marked a turning point, not just for one of China's biggest companies, but for the future of artificial intelligence itself. During his 23-minute keynote at the Alibaba Cloud Conference, Wu outlined a bold vision, one where machines would not only think like humans but surpass them entirely. He spoke of artificial general intelligence, AI systems with human-level reasoning, and artificial superintelligence, systems that evolve beyond human capacity, capable of self-learning, self-improvement, and even independent discovery. In Wu's words, AGI isn't the end of AI's development, it's just the beginning. ASI, he declared, will drive exponential technological leaps, curing diseases, discovering clean energy, even unlocking interstellar travel. It was a moment that stunned analysts, because Alibaba just became the first major Chinese tech giant to explicitly commit to developing superintelligence. For years, the AI race has been framed as a competition between the United States and China, with each pursuing dominance in different ways. Washington is home to firms like OpenAI, Anthropic and Google DeepMind, which focus on the theoretical pursuit of AGI, building the smartest, most capable systems possible. Beijing, on the other hand, has often been portrayed as focusing on real-world AI applications, robotics, surveillance, logistics, and automation. But Alibaba's latest move challenges that narrative. As Helen Toner of Georgetown University noted, this idea that China doesn't care about AGI or superintelligence is simply wrong. Smaller Chinese startups like DeepSeek have been quietly researching AGI for years. But now, the biggest player in China's tech scene has gone all in. Alibaba's announcement wasn't just talk. The company unveiled a new generation of Quen models, advanced open-source AI systems that can process text, images, video, and audio simultaneously. The Quen series already rivals Western models like OpenAI's GPT-5 and Anthropic's Claude and has become the most downloaded open-source AI model in the world. Eddie Wu argued that in the near future, large AI models will replace traditional operating systems as the interface between humans, data, and machines. These systems, he said, will run on cloud computing networks like Alibaba Cloud, which already dominates China's cloud market and recently surpassed Oracle in global share. Analysts see this as both a technological and commercial strategy, a way to fuse Alibaba's AI ambitions with its most profitable business segment, the cloud. While China's vision grows more ambitious, the conversation around superintelligence is spreading across the world. In the US, lawmakers like Senators Josh Hawley and Richard Blumenthal have even proposed a bill to study the risks of AI systems reaching artificial superintelligence. Meanwhile, companies like OpenAI have openly acknowledged the need to prepare for a post-AGI world, urging the creation of international safety frameworks. Critics argue, however, that talk of ASI is often used as marketing hype, a way to boost company valuations and investor confidence. After Wu's keynote, Alibaba's stock surged, contributing to a staggering $250 billion rebound in 2025 alone, making it China's hottest AI stock of the year. China's AI ecosystem is rapidly expanding. The country now leads in robotics production, AI chip assembly, and AI-powered industrial automation. Its AI research output has doubled since 2020, and Chinese labs are responsible for more AI patents than any other country in the world. Still, 
The race for superintelligence raises fundamental questions. What happens when AI becomes smarter than humans? Who controls it and whose values will it serve? Eddie Wu's roadmap to ASI speech didn't dwell on those darker possibilities. Instead, it painted a future where AI becomes humanity's ultimate partner, curing diseases, expanding economies, and even reaching the stars. But as analysts like Matt Sheehan of the Carnegie Endowment warn, in reality, Alibaba is selling cloud services. ASI is the ultimate marketing horizon the idea that keeps investors dreaming. Whether this is genuine foresight or a powerful branding strategy, one thing is clear is China has officially joined the race, not just to match human intelligence, but to surpass it. And with Alibaba leading the charge, the world's next frontier in technology might be built not in Silicon Valley, but in Hangzhou.